very strange. In fact, I'm shocked he decided not to run. The decision unexpected by many. Well, it was certainly a surprise given the fact that it seemed like Governor Daniels was setting up for a presidential run. The announcement made in an unusual way. But I think he kind of wanted to put it out there quietly. Uh, not answer any questions for a while, but I think ultimately he will have to do that. Mitch Daniels revealed his political plans in an overnight email to supporters. News hitting the public right around 2 a.m. Uh, I don't think it was a spur of the moment thing with him. He doesn't operate that way. There's speculation as to whether or not Daniels meant for this to be Sunday's news across the state. It wasn't going to be kept secret long, however he did it, but it certainly seems like the hour in which it was done, it was meant to be kind of a private outlet. Whether he meant to or not, political Local experts say Daniels made his choice at the right time. This is uh, probably the best thing to do that his inner circle got to let know and it obviously hit the news quickly and uh, shuts off and allows other candidates who maybe think about jumping in to jump in. His presidential future questioned, now answered, leaves many wondering what's next. For some, it's clear this isn't the last of Mitch Daniels. He will certainly want to be used. Uh, if a Republican does win, he will be in an administration. He will be a, perhaps be a vice presidential candidate. He's got a lot of strengths that I think uh, will be tapped into by somebody. In Fort Wayne, Drew Blair, News Channel 15. Interest and zero votes available from the Democratic side. He had to go with something that could attract essentially every Republican vote.